All right, welcome to Western Eclectic World Headquarters, also known as my house, where I've got the car loaded up and gonna head out and try to catch some crayfish. I'm super excited this is the first time I've been able to get out this season. I usually would bring six traps with my regular bait, so I've got six cans of cat food there, but I actually threw in one extra trap because we're gonna try a little experiment today. Banana skin. Somebody commented in one of my other videos and said that banana skin has compounds in it that I guess mimic lady crayfish pheromones and so you'll catch more crayfish this way or at least catch more male crayfish. I'm a little skeptical. At first I thought somebody was just trying to troll me in a real clever way to see if I'd actually put banana in a crayfish trap but I'm gonna try it. We'll see. There was enough other people that commented and said yeah I think that might really work so I'm gonna finish loading the car, head out to the stream and I'll check back in with you there. All right so here we are back at one of my favorite spots. The water looks really good. Looks nice and low, really clear. I don't see any crayfish down there yet, but I'm gonna get the traps ready, put them in, and see what happens. All right, so here we are down by the water. It's been a bunch of erosion since I was here last time, but I think this should still work fine and be a pretty good spot. I think the idea is that the banana skin is added to the trap with a bait, not used instead of bait, but I really want to see if it works. I mean, if I put it in there with a bait and I catch some crayfish, I won't really be able to tell which they were coming to. So I've got one trap rigged up right here with just banana skin in it, and I've got it tied down so it's not going to go loose. We'll toss this out, see what happens, and then I'll toss another one next to it, or in the area anyway, pretty close with regular cat food. Perfect. Well, here's a closer look at the two traps. I don't see any crayfish yet. There was some fish around that banana. I think they're more just confused than anything. But we'll see. All right guys, I'm so impatient I decided to move those traps upstream just a few feet to an area with a little bit more cover. I still don't see anything in either one, but they've only been there a couple minutes, so we'll see. Check it out. First crayfish of the day and first crayfish of the whole season as a matter of fact. Nice big male in the cat food trap. I don't know, maybe he got lured in by the banana scent, but there he is, he is good size. So that's awesome. Not skunked today anyway. Oh, that's great. All right, let's go set some other traps. Here we are back at one of my other favorite spots. Looks great. Yeah, it's like on down there. So here we are. Looks just beautiful. I gotta tell you, my blood pressure drops about 10% every time I get out here. It's just great, being in the woods by the water. Unless I think about mountain lions, then it goes up another 10%, but <laughs> that's okay. All right, enough talking. Let's put in some traps. All right, so all my traps are set. We'll wait and see what happens. I did have some people in another video give me a hard time saying, you know, why do you even bother with that camouflage line when those funnels are bright yellow? Well, I hear you, look, I mean, you can certainly see this trap this way when I'm looking down in the water. Even if the yellow funnels weren't there, that steel bar in the bottom, pretty obvious. But now let's look upstream at the other traps. You might be able to make out a little bit of yellow in the water I just barely can for the next two, but those lines that are coming out of the water certainly don't stick out at all. So this is the view, you know, somebody coming down the stream might have. I don't know. I just want to keep my traps as hidden as I possibly can from other people. Might mess with them or might steal them. So I'm going to keep using camouflage line, even though, yes, I totally agree that 
we look back at this one, it's pretty obvious. All right, well, here we are back at the first spot. I don't believe it. There's a big old male in that banana trap. So we'll pull that one first and see. I guess it actually works. I'm guessing he didn't wander in there by accident. And a couple of big crayfish in the other one, too. Boy, not many crayfish, but the ones that are in there look big. Let's pull out that banana skin trap and see what that looks like. Whoops. Oops. Okay, there we go. Without losing him. Look at the size of this guy. He's only got one claw, but he's a monster. Let me get him out of the trap and I'll show you. All right, guys. Well, here he is. I don't believe it. But there might be something to this whole banana skin thing after all. Look at the size of this crayfish. Whoa. Look at that. It's a huge claw on this guy. Start from a little shaky. There we go. Big monster male crayfish. Well, that's cool. <laughs> okay, little guy. Put you back in there with a the banana. Yeah, unbelievable. It's possible he went in the trap by accident, but I really doubt it. Okay. See what we got in the other traps. All right, so let's grab the other trap from this first spot. If I can do it without falling in, let's see. It looks like only one crayfish in there, so... Nope, two. Two crayfish. Both appear to be males, pretty decent size, especially that one. Oh, that one's really nice. I'll get them out of the trap. So only two crayfish. And amazingly, one in the banana skin trap. I would say this is kind of normal for early season. Um, and I call this the early season where not many crayfish, they're kind of skittish. But um, when you do catch them, even though you don't catch many, they seem to be big males. Later in the season, you get lots of females, you know, other kinds of smaller crayfish. And they get more active, more aggressive. So I think it's still a little early, but definitely fun to get out here. So only those three crayfish at this first spot. But that's all right. They're not bad size. I mean, here's the other bigger male. Get him out of here without getting pinched. Yeah, definitely a decent crayfish. Whoops. <laughs> so anyway, let's head down the road and check the other traps. Oh, I see some crayfish. Not a lot of crayfish, but there's... Oh yeah, definitely some in that trap. I don't think you can see very well on the camera, but... There's some in that one too. Maybe if this camera's set up a little better, I'll pull them up, we'll take a look together. Oh yeah. More like it, whoops. Oh, look at that. Didn't even use banana that time. Okay, second trap at this location. Yeah, well, not too much in this one. Not bad though, I'll take it. All right, well, let's pull that fire trap and see what's in there. Some nice ones. Why not a huge amount of crayfish, but look at the size of some of these guys. Look at that one right there. I'm trying to get you a view of him. He's a monster. And this little little guy, I think we'll let him go. Maybe that one too, but look at the difference in size. Cool. All right. Well, this trap isn't looking too promising, but let's take a look. <laughs> Are we skunked or is there at least one, one little crayfish? Well, he's not that little. 
until we see him. And we'll take him. But that's funny, what a difference a few feet makes. Because that one trap had at least a dozen, if not more, and this trap, uh, not so much. So, hey, that's how it goes. That's why it's nice to throw out a bunch of traps. Okay, I made one trip back to the car with the other crayfish. Gave this trap a chance to sit just a little bit longer. Thought maybe a couple more would get in there. I can't really tell from here, actually. Kind of hard to see with that glare, so let's pull it up and see. Ah, two! <laughs> if you can see them. One, two, and they're both pretty little, so... Oops, sorry. That's how it goes, though, sometimes. That's fine. I'll still take them. That's great. And I think it's time to go home. Well, another beautiful day out here. Caught a decent amount of crayfish, not a ton, but there's some really big ones in there, so that's cool. It's also really fun to try that banana skin experiment. I'm still a little bit surprised it worked like it did, at least it seemed to. Had that nice big male in there. So that's definitely something I'll try again. Okay, so here we are. I ended up with 34 crayfish. So not a huge number, but having said that, look at the size of some of these. Really big ones here. This is the one that was in the banana skin trap. And he only has one claw, but still that's a really big crayfish. At least by my standards. And look at this one. This might be a personal best. That is a huge, huge male crayfish. Um, I mean, look at that. Look at his claws, about as long as my little finger. So, that's really cool to see. I love getting crayfish like that. All right, well, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going get, to uh, get working on cleaning these crayfish. I'll see you next time. Ah! Whoops. Oh, that's embarrassing. Whoops. Ah, nuts.